25. Sigiriya. Above the green vegetation central lowlands Sri Lanka rises rock Sigiriya. Huge rock that rises to a height about 200 meters, is the main feature of the old stone castle known as Lavova Rock in Sigiriya. It place was chosen as the new capital of King Kashyapa for everything him board. He painted murals on the walls and built a magnificent castle right at the top massive granite column, where you can was get into only through the mouth massive, fancy carved lion. Now around Lavova rocks like her kindly called, many human stories and legends about monarchs and monks, victories and failures, as well as about history the significance of Buddhism for the area. Visitors who want to see Sri Lankan culture in her based on, should go to Sigiriya, and nearby Pidurangalu. Sigiriya was significant largely abandoned in the following century, while rulers Kandy was not used her as a military man fortress in the 19th century. Finally, in 1832, the commander British Army Jonathan Forbes was to those who returned Sigiriya to the historical center of attention and from obscurity. 24. Ephesus. One of the largest and most prominent ancient cities in the world, as well as one of the most important in Turkey, is Ephesus. The remains of this ancient city are located between the picturesque villages of Selçuk and Sirens, just 80 miles from the famous beach town of Izmir. Another significant place in the Christian history of the region is Ephesus. Saint John is said to have written his gospel here, and Saint Paul also wrote his first epistle to the Corinthians. Excavations and studies of one of the largest and most significant Roman cities, Ephesus, are currently underway. The grandeur of the historic city will amaze the visitors of this place. In Ephesus, the Library of Celsus is one of the most exquisite buildings. The facade of the library facing the city was carefully rebuilt using original materials. There are many references to Ephesus in the New Testament. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians contains the earliest reference to Ephesus in the New Testament. It says, If I fought with wild beasts in Ephesus, guided only by human hopes, what would I gain by it? 23. Uplist Psyche. The only monument of the ancient era in Georgia is the ancient cave city of Uplist Psyche. It is in close proximity to both Tbilisi and the city of Gori. Plissi is a name that is as difficult to pronounce as it is intriguing to study. The prehistoric cave city, which dates back to about 3,000 years ago, has long been an important religious center in pre-Christian Georgia. After the change of nation, it flourished for more than a millennium. Translation, Fortress Uplos refers to Uplistsyk, the son of Mskitas, after whom the old capital of Georgia, Mskita, was named. Several rooms are open for visitors to enter and exit, unfortunately, several cameras were vandalized. Be sure to look up to see the sculptures under the entrance arch. It is divided into three parts, lower, middle, and upper. In the central part there are several rock-cut buildings. Although most of these buildings are simple, others include stone sculptures. At the top of this place is a Christian stone basilica of the 10th century. In addition, there are stone houses and churches carved out of the surrounding rocks. 22. Terracotta Army. Although this is mythology, it has existed for thousands of years in Xi'an, the former capital of China. That is, the Terracotta Army, the underground army of Emperor Qin Shi Huangdi, the first unifier of China, also known as the Terracotta Warriors and Soldiers. Qin Terracotta Warriors and Horses Museum is home to the Terracotta Army, located 37 kilometers east of Xi'an. In addition to the incredible scale, the uniqueness of each figure is what really sets the Terracotta Army apart. Depending on the military rank, soldiers have different heights, shapes and hairstyles. Each warrior's face is modeled after a real person. Almost all of the weapons were looted long before the site was opened, and all of the figures were originally elaborately painted and equipped with real weapons. Unfortunately, most of the paint chipped off when the statues were exposed to dry air during excavation. The first and second pits show signs of fire damage, and it is suggested that Xiang Yu, who claimed the throne after the death of the first emperor, may have robbed the graves, taken weapons, and tried to destroy the army. 21. Bagan. Bagan, Myanmar. Pagoda Land is a recognized ancient archaeological wonder located in Southeast Asia. There were once 4,446 temples on the wide plains, today there are more than 2,000 of them left. 
you will definitely be delighted with one of the most famous images of Bagan. Fragments of the many stupas and pagodas scattered around the plains of Bagan, illuminated by the first light of day, with mist enveloping the surroundings and balloons soaring overhead. Bagan dominated much of what is now modern Burma during its heyday, and this legacy is preserved in the part of the region now known as the Bagan Archaeological Zone. Get to know Bagan from a new angle and enjoy the breathtaking views of the pagodas. In Bagan, the hot air ballooning season runs from October to mid-April. Visit the village of Manantu, taste the local cuisine, take a sunset boat ride on the Irrawaddy River, or take a short excursion to the Bagan Archaeological Museum. One of the temples, manned by soldiers, was a popular place for granting wishes to important government officials. To the south of the complex stood important temples built by the imprisoned ruler Mon Manuka. 20. Teotihuacan. Teotihuacan, a sacred city known as the place where the gods were made. It stands out for the scale of its structures, especially the pyramids of the sun and moon and the temple of Quetzalcoatl, which were built using geometric and symbolic concepts. Teotihuacan, one of the most powerful cultural centers of Mesoamerica, had a profound influence on the art and culture of Mesoamerica and beyond. Even the original name of Teotihuacan is unknown, as are the identities of its inhabitants. The Aztecs called it Teotihuacan, or place where the gods were born, when they connected the remains of the abandoned city with their own creation story when they landed on Mexico's central plateau in the first half of the 14th century. Teotihuacan boasted efficient water supply and drainage facilities, as well as large avenues running through it. Bright colored paintings decorated the plastered pyramids, temples and palaces. This region had a variety of residential neighborhoods, administrative institutions, and community structures. Teotihuacan's magnificent paintings, impressive architecture and historical significance as you explore this mysterious place. 19. Moai Statues Moai sculptures on Easter Island in Polynesia weigh more than 80 tons. On an island was 887 Moai sculptures were found, the tallest of which reached an impressive 33 feet. Not to provide too subtle point of view, but clearly cut out features face Moai distinguished there from other sculptures. However, there is one Moai which stands out from among others. Most of the sculptures have advanced facial features, while to Katuri, the Moai, has lot more human traits. Many people do not know that sculptures actually have objectives bodies, because in mass in culture, they are often depicted as heads without bodies. Most spread out image depict sculptures, buried up to the neck, that generates common opinion that these are the heads of Easter Island. Big ones red stones, or pukeo, is common headdress on some moai, and they say that they symbolize sure ceremonial position. Although controversy continues, the widely accepted idea is that the sculptures are depictions of indigenous ancestors. The relationship between the gods and the inhabitants of the island is also believed to be symbolized by the Moai. 18. Colosseum One of the most famous Roman amphitheaters of the Roman Empire and one of the most famous places in Italy is the Colosseum. Under the banner of bread and spectacle, the Roman Colosseum, formerly the Flavian Amphitheater, welcomed more than 50,000 spectators to witness his greatest show in the entire Roman Empire. For many years, the Roman population was entertained by gladiator fights, battle reenactments, exhibits of exotic animals and executions of prisoners. Depending on how important it was, a certain class of residents was assigned to each region. However, everyone could enter for free. The corridors of the Colosseum were painted in bright colors, including red, blue, green and black. According to some archaeologists, the outer wall of the stadium was also covered with paintings. Thanks to the restoration of the Colosseum's only surviving interior corridor, some of the original vivid paintings can still be seen today. The absence of a floor in the amphitheater is something that modern visitors to the Colosseum are forced to observe. Instead of a glossy wooden floor, there is an amazing maze of stone arranged in circles and lines. Seems like something should be centered around the Minotaur. The word Hypogeus means underground in Greek. 17. Machu Picchu. It a place located on top of a mountain in the jungle is often considered the most popular tourist in the direction of Peru. Ancient shrine attracts not only tourists his own impressive architectural beauty, but also significant historical and cultural heritage, which has earned recognition and admiration everywhere the world. 
The beauty of this place is not accidental. The Inca emperor was looking for a castle that would blend in with the surrounding nature. At the time of the Spanish conquest in the 16th century, the place was deserted. This exceptional center of agriculture, astronomy, ritual and religion has more than 200 buildings located on a rocky slope interspersed with stone terraces. The city is divided between lower and higher parts according to a strict layout that separates the agricultural and residential sectors with considerable space in between. Many mysteries surrounding Machu Picchu still remain unanswered, such as the exact role it may have played in the Inca's advanced knowledge of astronomy and the domestication of wild plant species. Machu Picchu's vast yet intricate design blends incredibly well with the fascinating environment with which it is closely associated. There is clear evidence of long, often continuous human activity in the form of several satellite cities, a vast network of roads and trails, irrigation canals, and agricultural terraces. 16. Angkor Wat A huge Buddhist temple complex known as Angkor Wat is located in northern Cambodia. Region is steamy, suffocating tropical forest area more than 400 square meters kilometers, 155 square miles. From 9 to 15th century Khmer the empire that ruled in the larger parts southeastern Asia, had its capital in Angkor. Significant part this protection remained, protecting city, temple and people inside from an attack by a high wall 15 feet, surrounded by a wide moat. The main entrance to the temple was entrance from sandstone. Angkor Wat takes over 200 acres within these walls say that this the region included a royal palace which was located to the north from the temple, the city, and the temple building. Despite this, the temple is still impressive building, height which reaches about 70 feet at the highest points, towers above the main temple. Thousands bar reliefs, which show significant Buddhist and Hindu characters and deities religions, as well as important moments in the narrative the heritage of the temple is decorated him walls. 15. Mesa Verde Mesa Verde, or Green Table in Spanish, is a national park in southwestern Colorado that offers an unparalleled opportunity to see and explore a unique natural and cultural environment. The cliffs are some of the most amazing and well-preserved places in the United States. The ancestors of the Pueblo people lived mainly on the hilltop for 600 years before they began to establish settlements under the overhanging cliffs of Mesa Verde. They included one-room warehouses and communities with more than 150 rooms. Although decades of excavation and research have not revealed all the secrets, they have demonstrated that the ancient Puebloans were talented craftsmen and knew how to survive. These sites, which range from high-rise buildings and hilltop huts to cliffside towns, record changes in the way of life of the ancient Anasazi people. By understanding the fundamental principles that govern the Earth's surface, scientists can interpret the complex geological history that the Mesa Verde rocks reveal. Most of the Mesa Verde rocks are sedimentary, and they provide valuable information about the previous environment. 14. Great Wall of China In northern China is the Great Wall of China, a historic network of walls and fortifications spanning over 13,000 kilometers. Emperor Qin Shi Huangdi first conceived the Great Wall in the 3rd century BC as a way to stop the invasion of nomadic barbarians. It is perhaps the most famous emblem of China and its rich and varied history. Building the Great Wall was dangerous work. Many workers faced difficult conditions, including harsh weather, dangerous terrain, and the potential threat of nomadic tribes. You won't be able to see everything in one visit, in fact, experts believe it could take up to 17 months to cover the entire distance. The Great Wall of China is not one long continuous piece, rather, it consists of parts that were built at different points in Chinese history and are separated by hilly and wild areas. This means that some parts of the wall, each with its own attractions and unique characteristics, can still be walked all the way. 13. Valley of the Kings an amazing opportunity to see the splendor of ancient Egyptian culture is a trip to the Valley of the Kings in Egypt. A large number of Egyptian pharaohs, queens, high priests and other nobles were buried in the Valley of the Kings, in the royal cemetery. It is surrounded by a stunning desert landscape and is located not far from ancient Thebes, modern Luxor, on the west bank of the beautiful Nile River. Sixty-three tombs were carved by the ancient Egyptians right in the rocks. Then they were decorated with complex religious reliefs and figures. Exquisite funerary objects, 
vibrant frescoes and intricate hieroglyphics will captivate you as you explore the ornate tombs dug deep into the rocky cliffs. Each tomb tells a separate story about the aristocracy of ancient Egypt and its descent into the afterlife. They offer a wonderful window into their customs and beliefs. The Valley of the Kings in Egypt has a rich history filled with remarkable achievements and ancient customs. 12. Skellig Michael Skellig Michael Island, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is located off the west coast of Ireland. With its breathtaking scenery and historic towns, this secluded and rugged island has won over tourists and Star Wars enthusiasts alike. Of all the early medieval monastic structures on Skellig Island, Michael, also known as St. Michael's Rock, is the larger of the two Skellig rocks and has the most beautiful setting, along with a solitary hermitage and a well-preserved monastery. The summit consists of two old red sandstone peaks separated by a valley. The main structure of the monastery is located on the lower peak, which is 183 meters high, while the southern peak, which is 218 meters high, was once used as a hermitage. Christ's Saddle is the name of the valley lying between two peaks. The ruins of the monastery were protected and preserved by a secluded island. Skellig Mikhaila Monastery consists of seven cells, a church with cement mortar, two chapels, an inner stone wall and the remains of water cisterns. 11. Temple of Isis a wonderful example of ancient Egyptian architecture and culture can be seen in the temple complex of Philae, which is located near Aswan, Egypt, on an island in the Nile River. One of the most revered goddesses in the Egyptian pantheon, Isis, was the object of devotion in the temple. Several kings and dynasties expanded and modified the temple over the centuries, creating a complex that showcases a wide range of artistic and architectural traditions. In the distance, buildings and pylons sparkle in the sun. As you approach the temple, additional elements become visible, including vegetal capitals on columns in the hypostyle hall, colonnades and pieces of high surrounding walls. It is surrounded by lush green palm trees and plants. According to legend, it was here that the goddess Isis found the heart of her brother and husband, Osiris, before Seth, the ruler of chaos and war, killed him. The temple at Philae, which honors Isis' authority as a patron and guardian goddess, is still an important emblem of Egyptian culture today. 10. Petra Ancient the city of Petra is located in the south to the west Jordan. In the past he was the capital of the Nabataeans' kingdom after Idumea. At that time, Petra was respected his own wonderful architecture, a complex system of dams and waterways channels. Petra partially built, half carved out of rock, and surrounded by mountains, full caves and tunnels. Essentially desert region was widely populated throughout Nabataean, Roman and Byzantine era thanks to resourceful system management water resources. Located in the surroundings mostly red sandstone, this one of the richest and largest archaeological monuments in the world. Petra served as a backdrop for a number of scenes filmed for the popular Hollywood movie of the movie Indiana Jones and the Last Cross Hike. Today Tomb Cities, Contents many from who stole robbers, represent various a mixture of Greco, Roman and Nabataean architectural styles. Today Bedouin tourists from the area opened a trinket shop nearby from places where, as they believe Arabs, Moses struck the rock with his rod, and the water splashed out. 9. Lanceux Meadows In the Canadian province of Newfoundland and Labrador there is an archaeological site called El Lanceux Meadows, which contains the remains of a Scandinavian colony. El Anse Ux Meadows was founded by Norse people between 990 and 1050 AD, according to studies of Norse building style, artifacts, and radiocarbon dating. According to archaeologists, the village functioned as a winter camp and research station, using industrial processes including woodworking and iron production, which were likely used to repair ships. Discover authentic relics from this famous archaeological site and stroll through a reconstructed base camp where you will meet Viking interpreters dressed in character. Vikings there were at most 15 here in Newfoundland years. Some are described in the sagas from pioneers such as extraordinary Gudrid the Far Traveler and her son Snorri, to whom attribute that he was the first European born in the North America. 8. Derinquiu one of 36 hypothetical underground urban complexes found around Cappadocia, there is Derinquiu, underground beehive city in the region Derinquiu in Turkey. Although him accurate origin unknown, 
they say that Derinquiu was built as a defense building from invaders in the Byzantine era. Most likely, at first he was used as a temporary shelter before turn into a city. How and why him the inhabitants lived underground as well what prompted their first to dig, everything is unclear. Besides, there are some question of construction tunnels and ability residents self-organize. Interesting note that city was found only in 1963, when a local resident found a mysterious room behind the wall his own at home further excavation discovered a huge system of rooms and tunnels Derinquiu, currently available only about half underground cities, despite being numerous research. Kilometers tunnels connected I argue with others underground cities, giving him citizens possibility run away to the neighbor cities in case invasion. To the invaders was hard get into the city because these tunnels were small and theirs you can was close with large stones the door. 7. Acropolis. One of the most famous ancient archaeological monument in the world is the Acropolis in Athens. Acropolis in Greece located on limestone hills and was inhabited since prehistoric times times. For centuries Acropolis was fortress, royal residence, place worship, housing for mythological gods and popular tourist direction. Despite the bombing, significant earthquakes, and vandalism, he continues serve as a symbol of the glorious of the past Greece. Now it is place cultural UNESCO heritage, and the Parthenon is one of many temples which called his home. Hill has big, almost flat top, rocky and steep of all sides, except western. For for almost 3,300 years the top of the Acropolis was surrounded by powerful fortresses walls. Of Athens is one of the most visited tourist places in the city and a symbol of Greek culture and history. 6. Masada. Masada is located alone at the top high rocky mountain in Israel, is ancient stone fortress overlooking the Dead Sea. Leftovers there were well, preserved fortresses carefully restored as a memory of it place and her the valiant residence. The northern palace of King Herod, built on three granite terraces overlooking the canyon, is the most outstanding building that remained. A large Roman bath styles with bright mosaic floor and frescoes on the walls situated near from the palace. In tourist center near at the foot of the mountain there is a cable car that leads to the top, or you can go along a steep snake path to reach Masada. For many people, it has become something like a ritual to climb Masada before dawn are opened amazing views of the Dead Sea and the Moab Mountains. Masada has political significance in modern times Israel in addition to its own cultural values. For Israelis official people's slogan Masada will not fall again has become a symbol of steadfastness will Israel defend from everyone enemies. Thanks to to everyone these factors, Masada is still important and very charged a place that attracts tourists from all over the world. 5. Hampi. Hampi, a UNESCO World Heritage Site is located on the south bank of the Tungabhadra River in the Vijayanagara region of the Indian state of Karnataka. Visitors are still enthralled by the ancient remains of the old settlement of Hampi, spread over an area of over 4,100 hectares and a remnant of a glorious past. A place of such grandeur and extravagance certainly has a rich cultural history. As early as the 3rd century BC, Hampi was a member of the Mauryan Empire. During the tour, you will be able to see many interesting and original sites and buildings. Magnificent ruins, palaces and temples are among the main attractions for tourists from all over the world. As you explore these ruins, you will see that every item has been crafted with incredible care and attention to detail. Despite the fact that they did not have many resources at the time, they were able to build temples that are still quite tall today. Hampi has a special episode known as Kishkinda Kand, which is of great importance. This story is said to have happened when Lord Rama and Lord Lakshman arrived in the Monkey Land. 4. Stonehenge. It consists of approximately 100 huge vertical stones placed in a circle and is located in the southern part of England. Stonehenge is an ancient structure that took Neolithic builders about 1,500 years to build. Historians and archaeologists have been puzzled by its many mysteries for centuries. Scientists have been able to trace the bluestones that make up its inner ring all the way to the Presley Hills in Wales, adding to the mystery surrounding its construction, even though the sandstone slabs of its outer ring were quarried nearby. The purpose of the interesting monument is still shrouded in mystery, even if the details of Stonehenge's design and construction are still, at best, sketchy.
Convincing archaeological evidence suggests that Stonehenge was used as a burial site for much of its long existence. 3. Borobudur Mahayana Buddhist temple called Borobudur Temple is located near Muntalan on the Indonesian island of Java. For many centuries, the magnificent temple was buried under a thick layer of vegetation and volcanic ash. It was accidentally discovered around the early 1800s. The exact appearance of the Borobudur Temple is unknown. The most common story states that construction began in the 8th century, during the reign of the monarchs of the Salendra dynasty. The building is a stupa, a hemispherical place of worship. It stands on a 112-meter square foundation. The stupa is 34 meters high and has a total size of 2,500 square meters. Borobudur is divided into eight levels. The top three are rounded, and the bottom five are square. Together they represent the eight stages leading to spiritual enlightenment and include three levels, each of which is responsible for a specific area. Borobudur Temple Complex is an empty structure. However, it impresses with its exterior design. Buddha sculptures in various poses can be found on both sides of the building. Each of them is significant for the meaning of Borobudur. 2. Giza The Giza necropolis contains the Pyramids of Giza, a collection of huge tombs built by the ancient Egyptians more than 4,500 years ago. These enormous structures continue to amaze and fascinate us with their sheer mass and seemingly incredible perfection, remaining unsurpassed in height thousands of years after their creation. Many ideas have been put forward as to their origin due to their strange design and precise location, including the unproven theory that they had an extraterrestrial impulse. The design of the pyramid was supposed to resemble sunlight, perhaps as a condensed image of the sun's rays. The earliest pyramids, like the Step Pyramid of Djoser at Saqqara, were originally intended as stairs. Inscriptions describe the sun's rays as a ramp on which the pharaoh ascends to heaven. The sacred stone of Ben Ben, a representation of the prehistoric mound said to be the site of the first creation, was also unmistakably associated with the pyramid. Many believe that the pyramid was the place of rebirth of the late ruler. 1. Gobekli Tepe Gobekli Tepe, also called Belly Hill or Numbilical Hill, is a temple complex located in southeastern Anatolia, Turkey, 2.5 kilometers from the city of Orensik and 8 kilometers northeast of the city of Sanlıurfa. Among the large megalithic structures of the world, it is the oldest. The massive round oval and rectangular megalithic ruins were built between 9600 and 8200 BC by pre-pottery Neolithic hunter-gatherers. These monuments were most likely used together with the funeral rite. The images of wild animals carved on the unique T-shaped pillars provide insight into the lifestyle and beliefs of the people who lived in Upper Mesopotamia 11,500 years ago. The complex design followed by the builders was beyond the capabilities of the period. Gil Hackley and Avi Gopher, two Israeli experts, claim that the site is combined into an almost perfect equilateral triangle. Creating such a project required not only a mental leap, but also great physical strength and dexterity. According to Klaus Schmidt, the pioneer of the temple, the stones, which can weigh up to 50 tons, had to transport more than 500 people from the nearby quarry to the site. Friends, I hope you enjoyed my story about the most amazing ancient ruins in the world. If you want to know more interesting facts and travel stories, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell to get notified about new videos. If you enjoyed this video, you should also check out our list of the best places to visit in India. Thank you for your attention, and see you again on my channel.